We're coming down, coming down Hey Guitar Family, welcome to Guitar Fever LA. Look who's here, it's Squeaky Linda. <laughs> Squeaky, she's here, hey, she finally made it to an episode. Squeaky, I'm gonna put some headphones on. Whoa, I'm in outer space. What is that? Somebody outside has got some little moped going. So yeah, you know what? Right off the bat, what are the differences between the two rants? Well, the first one, the top one, it's little. They're both top mounted, but the old one has the old pin. You have to plug it in with a pin, and like it, you have to have an adapter for it. Mm, the back one it didn't come with any rubber feet. Maybe it does come with it, but I didn't get any. And so, you know what else? The little lines on the pedal on the knob aren't there. So how do you know what position you're in? I don't know. And the little circles, like the clock circles here, aren't there either. But there's one more thing that isn't there. This this actually does have the classic chip, but it and it, and it has a light. But what these two differ also is that this one, the it says Proco on the bottom. This one says Rat on the bottom. And they both say Rat. But this one, oh helicopter. What's different between these two is that the little one doesn't glow in the dark. Yes, the old one has a classic chip. The vintage rat has a classic. It's like the rat, too, has a classic chip in it. And that one is glow in the dark. I'm not going to turn the life off. I'm not going to turn the lights off. But that little one does not glow in the dark. The big one does. The Where it says rat and the bottom where it says Proco light up. And this one does not. So that are that's the differences. And let's hear them. Um, this is, um, let's start with the classic one at noon, right? Here's um, Clean Tone. Like, I'm using my PRS custom named Garuta. Garuta the Thunderbird. So that's kind of a very clean tone I have coming out of um, the amp. There is a little bit, I think, delay or reverb both, but listen. A very clean sound. All right, so we're going to hit this one. I think they're both at noon, right? I mean, this one's all at noon. You get a new pair. Right, let me do a few things. Let me do a few things. The vintage rat is now set up at noon. All of the knobs are set up at noon. So let's do a few things with it. We're going to start with chords, some broken chords, and some lead lines. like some heavy chord. Let's try a little bit of um, what they call broken chords, right? So which one are we playing right now? I think we're on the vintage one, right? Wow. So that's the vintage one. Let's hear that. These are also up at noon, so something's very similar, right? Someone's out there mowing the lawn or something. I'm going to take a drink really quick. So we heard the first one, the Vintage Rat, and I don't remember the chip's name, LM38, blah, 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 op amp. I don't remember it. I'm sure it'll flash on the screen. All right, now the Rat. My bad, the little rat. So 
So that was noon, right? I don't think the noon settings matter because, like, totally different. Anything, let's try to get the volume right up, like, a little louder. Is that the volume? Is this the volume? Right, I think that's kind of like Unity Gang because that's my voice. La la la. So we're going to go with, we're going to start with that, right? And you hear buzzing, so the vintage one has buzzing at like what I would call Unity Game Watch. And now some chords. Very, very, it's very crunchy the, the top one. Let's hear the bottom one. Oh shit, I think we're in the bottom. No, the top one. Okay, and let's try the volume. So this one, let's, we're trying to get it to the Unity game. I, it sounds about right. La, 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 la. Let's get the distortion. Out. So, so we're going to try to get the distortions as close as possible. We're going to try to get these distortions as close as possible. And right now, this one, listen, if you listen, the vintage one. Then let's try a new one. I think it would be insane for me to try to match these sounds. I'm just gonna try to make good sounds with each one. So I'm gonna I'm, right now we're playing the top one. Let's try the bottom one. To say that the the, the <laughs> I think my Grubhub order is here. I think the vintage rat has a warmth to it, but it also has noise to it. Watch. Listen to the noise. It's warm the rat too, but it's also very noisy. the noise watch without it there is noise outside which sucks for this test here we go let me try to match like the Yeah, you know, I don't think I can match these. So I'm going to try to get decent sounds out of both and try to A and B them. So 
So the top one is very sharp, but in a good way, you know. Let me see. Very ratty, right? Let me see. Let's try the other one. It's really loud. Let's try that one now. So the rat two is now so the rat two is loud. You can hear the, the loud humming mark. And this one. Even though like we can turn the I guess they're both loud. Are they the same? I don't think so. This one's a lot brighter. Let's, and this one's very warm, what? So the rat two is very warm. This one's very. You might say maybe I'm not like dialing it in right, but I think that the it's just uh, different. This one is is it's an incredible little pedal. It has a little bit of faults in the way you can't see where you're at without the lines from far away. But <clears throat> maybe it doesn't have rubber feet. I don't know. That's I lost them or they didn't come with any. But those few things aren't enough to discourage people from buying this because you know what this one you're not even going to get this one if you try to buy it so what's the point of going oh the the vintage one is better if you never had it you can't get it the new one is what it is and then it is what it is and so it is what it is the new one does sound great let's play a few things it's not the beer talk it's not the beer talk So we're gonna do this down here. Look at this all the way up.
Holy camoli. What the hell was that? I think it's dinner time. I think my wife. Home. All right. Well, that was a little one, right? Does that not sound incredible? All right. It does sound incredible. Now let's try the big one. Whoops. Let's try the big one. Try the big one. Let's try the big one. And by the way, if you haven't noticed, we're only going to use a humbucker in the bridge position. We're not going to do like neck position soloing like this. One of these doesn't sound good. They both sound incredible. Granted, this one is a little bit maybe louder and a little bit warmer, but this one is nice and bright. But hey, you know what? They both rock. So awesome. <laughs> Paul Smith and Proco. It's the Racha Chicken. I mean, cock. Guitar Fever Alley out. Coming down, coming down, the speed of sound. 